I've been witness to over the years to the burgeoning of what one would call people-to-people -people diplomacy between our two nations. Your country, Kenya, continues to inspire a lot of us, especially given its role in the international arena. We are also aware of the onerous tasks Kenya carries out both in the East Africa and the EGAT regions. The impact of your leadership role in both, Mr. President, has reverberated beyond the African continent, reaching the shores of those skeptics who always have some illusions that Africa is not capable of determining its own destiny and fate. We support you in your fight against the, so the scourge of terrorism and wish once again to convey our condolences to all those who lost their lives in the terrorist attacks that visited on Kenya. Mr. President and dear brother, and above all, all friends in this room, we have come to Kenya with one clear purpose, which is to rekindle the spirit of friendship that has existed between our two countries and peoples for many years. You will also recall that Lesotho for several years had a diplomatic mission here in Nairobi in the famous Mamangina Street and the residents in the Kigiri area. It may be opportune for us, Mr. President, to reconsider re-establishing a presence in each other's capital, Maseru and Nairobi, <laughs> in the north to distant future. Today, East meets the South, affirming our mutual aspiration to foster unity between brothers and sisters across our continent for the path to prosperity for our individual African states lies in building bridges between our communities, our nations, and recognizing that we have far more in common than we do have as differences. Your visit has also accorded us a unique opportunity to redefine and recalibrate our bilateral relations with a view of strengthening the excellent relations that exist between our two sister countries for the benefits of our people. Further, I also believe that your presence here affirms your own personal commitment and goodwill towards working with us to achieve the social economic transformation, development, and prosperity that our citizens aspire for. Kenya and the Kingdom of Lesotho enjoy warm and cordial bilateral relations that are founded on our shared aspirations and principles aimed at creating stable and prosperous countries for the well-being of our people. I cannot fail, ladies and gentlemen, to once again take this opportunity to sincerely recognize and appreciate Lesotho's steadfast support and solidarity with Kenya in various international fora. For all these years, your support and solidarity with Kenya has been unparalleled. I particularly recall with gratitude Lesotho's unwavering support during my tenure as the chairperson of the African Peer Review Mechanism from 2015 to 2018. Further, we cannot forget your government support for Kenya's candidature for the UN Security Council non-permanent seat. And I continue to seek Your Excellency's support and through you, that of SADC members, in campaigning for Kenya's candidature as we move towards the elections in New York in June of next year. <clears throat> as I have said severally, I strongly believe that a win for Kenya is a win for Africa. In conclusion, 
I want to once again thank you, Your Excellency, for honoring my invitation. And I look forward to the successful implementation of the outcomes of our deliberations. And I wish to once again reiterate Kenya's steadfast commitment to continue working with the Kingdom of Lesotho to foster economic development and shared prosperity for the citizens of our two countries.